Hey guys, uh, I wasn't planning on recording today, but I, uh, went on a bit of a wind streak after a, a long break. Uh, I still got it. I can still win multiplayer. Uh, so I wasn't planning on recording today, and, uh, my family, my set family decided to visit. So, uh, I think after I record this, I think that's gonna be it for a while until they leave and uh, I have more time to record. But anyways, uh, I haven't made a video in a while because uh, my dad got a PS5 and I've been playing the new Dead Space and just a lot of stuff happening in my life right now. So, yeah. And uh, my power finally came on after like a week. Or not a week, but my power came on. And my girlfriend, uh, I think her power is still off, so I gotta... So probably no videos for a while, I have to go find out what's going on with my girlfriend. I gotta see if her power came on or not. <coughs> anyways, um... Anyways, let's just go ahead and start it. I think that's gonna be it for the intro. I think I'm gonna do... I think I'm gonna do either two or three of them. Uh, we'll see. I only lost uh, once today, which was crazy. So this was the first uh, win of the day, and I haven't played in a while. Uh, if you look at my Warhammer history, I I think my last Warhammer video was like super long. It was a, it was a pretty long time ago, and uh, and I'm not counting that. Uh, update video. I didn't even play in that one. Uh, but anyways, uh, I got on. This is me. It was random. Uh, I don't like Tau, and I never played Tau, but I actually did pretty, pretty good. Tau is pretty easy to figure out. Uh, it's hard to play, but they're easy to figure out. So it. It didn't take me long to get the hang of it. Uh, but yeah, this is my first win in weeks. So I'm here to show it off. Uh, kind of a spoiler for all the other matches that th they're all wins. But I'm excited, and uh, I don't get excited much anymore. So this is pretty rare for me. So I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna make a video about it. After this, I'm gonna go hang out with my family. Um, and yeah, and it, 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 it decided it decided to snow on the first day of spring, which is great. Uh, just super unlucky. Another victory for the first power went out. Now, now it's snowing in spring, and it hailed it a bit too. But anyways, I I think that's gonna be it for that. Um, capping with my uh, infantry units and capping these with my stealth suits and I think I'm gonna skip forward a lot in this one because uh, it's a lot of nothing so I'm just gonna skip forward a bit and this is my first match in weeks I didn't even warm up I didn't I didn't do a warm-up match or anything double scout Looks like uh, Scout and uh, Stealth Suit can take control of the map around the same time. And that's with the Stealth Suit upgrade. So, but yeah, I think I'm gonna fast forward a bit. Um, not much happens in this one. But I'm still proud of it. Looks like the first death was a Stealth Suit. Got a skull probe. Got a skull probe. So, uh, sorry about that. Just, just uh, drink a bit. Uh, got a skull probe here. Nice, uh, nice moves. Got a uh, the eye move. I forget what it's called. But uh, yeah, nice moves from them. I like it. This uh this here is pretty hard to deal with 
you need like uh, raptors. If you had one squad of raptors, you could probably take all this out. I usually, I usually go for crew. Um, crew are just more fun, and I hate microing uh, fire warriors. I just, if you watch me micro fire warriors, I pretty much don't. And I thought for sure I'll lose this fight because it's five against like seven, but I actually win that fight surprisingly. If there was a missionary in there, I might have lost that fight. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to fast forward a bit on this one. This one wasn't that interesting, but it was my first win in weeks. So, I haven't played multiplayer on and off, and uh, I've been playing multiplayer on and off, and uh, this is my first win. So this is the player, uh, he uses the, this guy uses the same colors as me. And it seems like this guy is rusty too, because he only made like two squads. His teammates came to support, which was uh, interesting, because they were getting shot by this squad here. So they decided to help out this guy while also being shot from these guys, which was interesting. This guy here seems to be a Tau pro, because he's... Even I don't know how to do that. He can shoot from a distance like this, and I, I can't do that without the level 2 upgrade. I have no idea how to do that at level 1. Unless he is level 2. No, nope, he is level 1. Yeah, I didn't know you could do this at level 1. That's something I learned. Um, see, even with my hours, I have like 2,000 hours. Even with 2,000 hours, I'm still learning. We are not strong enough. I thought this was a level 2 building, so I focused the builder down. Turns out it was a armory. So. Little decap there, and no one captured uh, the relic for some reason, so I go ahead and capture it. I do think the Blood Furster is like a million times better than the uh, Narlock. I do think the Narlock wins in a 1v1 fight, but the Blood Furster is just so much better. Interesting uh, pathing here. These guys aren't. Wow, whole squad wipe. Uh, these guys here aren't terrible, but. Yeah, interesting match. I know the sister player has to be floating. Because he only made like two squads. I'm not going to do a eco check. That's, I'm good. I think Chaos is doing a fast tier up. Yeah, level 3 already. Level 3 at 8 minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna fast forward this one because this one isn't that interesting. The next one should be a lot better. Yeah, I expected uh, vehicles at this point, so I maxed out my stealth suits, which is something I usually don't do, because I just don't like stealth suits, they're not fun. I don't think stealth suits are fun, but uh, yeah, just, I did get the stealth suit upgrade, because without the stealth suit upgrade, they're actually pretty bad. Yeah, as you can see here, this this here is pretty much impossible to break without a level 4 unit. There's Unless you, like, get a bunch of rhinos. Well, not even, I don't even know if rhinos would work. 
But if you get a bunch of rhinos, you might be able to quick clean this up. But this is really difficult to deal with. And we got traps here. So it's like a good luck sort of thing. I mean, you could defiler th them back. You could defiler this, maybe. Yeah, that's pretty much the end of this one. Um, you needed fire support? I get a Stingray, or a Skyray. Uh, Skyray is pretty good against everything. So I went for the Skyray. I didn't go for the Barracuda because uh, it, it actually loses to listening posts. And they had a bunch of listening posts. So no Barracuda that time. I think I do build HQ here in a bit, which is interesting, because I know these guys are super rich, and I know these guys here are super rich, but I'm the first one to make a HQ. And this uh, Chaos guy starts to complain, but you, you can see all his mistakes. He says Tau is retarded, which is, I mean in, in the game, yeah. In the board game, uh, they have buildings and stuff to make it so they can't shoot you from across the map, which is a lot more fair. In this game, it's wide open fields, so Tau can shoot you, you know, wherever you want. But in the board game, there'll be buildings everywhere, which uh, makes life for Tau a lot harder. I do like this constant uh, servo skull. It's nice. Yeah, I'm gonna fast forward a bit. I think we're all level 4 and they're level 2. It's nothing really to see here. So everybody's level 4 and I'm uh... I'm focusing on eco right now. This is like my whole army. So I'm focusing on eco. Trying to... Got the upgraded Tau Commander. Cleaning this up. Space Marines seem to be the best player out of all of them. Here I make another. Yeah, there's the HQ going up. And then the, he got the same idea. So. And I totally forgot if you make an HQ, you can make more generators. I totally forgot that was a mechanic of the game. So that's my bad. Uh, but yeah, I, I had the level 4 going. Um, and yeah, that's the end of that one. Pretty proud of that one. Uh, the second one's a lot, little bit more interesting. I still have to do the 100 subscriber special. I think the 100 subscriber special will be, uh, uh, where is it? I think it's going to be the 2v2v2. I think that's going to be the 100 subscriber special. So I do have a plan for that. Um, this one's a lot more interesting. This one I don't think I'll speed up too much. I think I'll speed up the boring parts. So you're not totally bored. So this is me. Uh, I got random again. I picked, uh, I got Dark Eldar, which is my main. And I looked at the game history of everyone. This guy had like 10 games played, and this guy here had like 2, and this guy here had 2. So I thought they were bad players. So I decided not to get the upgrades. I could have gotten the upgrades and uh, won a lot easier, won a lot faster. But I decided not to because of their game history. And I'm pretty sure these guys here are smurfs because uh, they actually work together really well. They actually work together incredibly well, which makes me think they're smurfs. And what's funny is I, I would say these two guys are about the same skill level. I think the Imperial Guard guy is slightly better than the Space Marine guy, but it's not that crazy. Yeah, I'll skip through the boring part. Yeah, I did get rid of uh, uh, 
Ultimate Apocalypse because Crucible is the exact same mod but with more options. So you'll see a bit more Crucible from me. My partner is telling me the tech, which is interesting. I thought he would go full uh, infantry. But as you can see, I'm not even sure. Maybe he's teching too. He only has two squads. So I'm not sure where his points are going. Unless he built oh, two generators. I guess. Well, he can still buy a third or fourth squad. But, um. Yeah, he's telling me the tech, and he only bought two squads, which is weird. And both players decided to go full, do a full tier 1 action. Which is interesting. Nice mind war here. I can never mind war the general. Uh, so pretty lucky there. <laughs> My warriors, uh, I didn't micro them. I figured, uh, they were bad players, so I did micro. Us having a small army really, uh, it made this fight really hard. See, nice micro from everyone. Here I ran out of uh, money, so I had to go back. I can't really continue this fight with this much money. So here I go back. And normally I don't make uh, Incubi. But I was losing this fight, so I made some Incubi. Uh, but the more I play Dark Eldar, the more I think Incubi are pretty bad. We got some scout snipers. I decided to go f get upgrades uh, because I realized they were actually good players. Once I saw the micro, I was like, oh, yeah, I should probably try against these guys. Uh, I decided to go with warriors because even though they're terrible, uh, if your opponent makes one or two mistakes, warriors can take out like two or three squads. So having this big fret. Um, warriors are bad, but they're a big threat, so I like them. And they're really cheap too. They're like they're like my cheapest unit. So I like warriors. Uh, they're really only good if your opponent makes a mistake. Uh, my partner sends his farseer in for some reason. Snipe the bone singer. I guess I can get rid of this. Don't need that anymore. Here I try to get Force Commander in the yellow at least, but the Force Commander is just so tanky. Yeah, full tier 1. Really the only way I could beat this is maybe uh, Hellions. Hellions are my only real option now. The jet bikes would get uh, destroyed by the grenades. Grenades, uh, grenades beat jet bikes. Fast forward a bit. These LR turrets suck. So, but there's a turret there. Going level two because he, uh, t my partner told me to. My partner told me to go level two. Now this part here coming up was pretty cool. I didn't expect this at all. You'll see here in a second. They just now got the relic, which is weird. Yeah, this part here was cool. I didn't expect this. Now I'm starting to float. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. Double Farseer ability. I sent my warriors in. But they got tied up by the force commander. And they got killed by the snipers. 
I really only use snipers against uh computer. I'm not a big fan of them. They're just really cheesy. Fast forward a bit. But yeah, I'm starting to tech. I'm, I'm really starting to float. Oh, I missed the fight. Some level 2 action. We both made really cheap units, uh, so we're starting to float a lot. I mean, these fire dragons aren't cheap. Fire dragons are probably one of Eldar's most expensive units. So one listening post down, I don't think it was upgraded. It's not a huge loss there. I go for the homunculus to get the poison dart. Uh, the poison dart is pretty good. That's the only. That's really the only reason I got the homunculus was for the poison dart. And then I uh, totally forgot about it. So that's that's the level I am. That's my skill level. I know to get the poison dart upgrade, but then I totally forgot about it. Yeah, this one here. So I knew to get it, but then I totally forgot about it. Fast forward. Uh, decided to go with ta uh, decided to go with these taluses. Uh, taluses are pretty fun, and uh, really they're all my, my only option at this point. If I went for scourges, uh, the grenades would kill them. So these taluses were really my only option here. I do like the second HQ. The Eldar HQ is way cheaper than everybody else's. This is like 400 points, while everybody else's is like 700. Which is a pretty big difference. So here I go in. Um, taluses are not the best vehicles in the game, but they do crazy high damage. And their damage is so high that they're pretty good at any point in the game. So that's nice. I am microing these because my army is not doing anything. And I am getting souls. Uh, I'm getting souls over here. I got a soul factory going on. Bunch of anti-vehicle here. It's a pretty bad fight for me. I, I want to take out at least uh, two buildings. If I can take out two buildings, I'd be happy. It's like Imperial Guards level 2, stun my Talos. Took out a... Took out a Bolter. Took out the Tech Priest. Looks like that turret got destroyed. I don't think he cancelled it. So overall I, I got rid of three things I think. Which isn't a great trade but it's better than nothing. And my partner here had like over a hundred wins. So I figured he'd do some crazy Eldar shenanigan. And he does. He's got this turret. Uh, all these turrets going. This might have been his plan from the start. Because this just feels... Yeah, he's got this whole fa like factory. Turret factory going. This might have been his plan from the start. I'm not sure. I'm not even sure why you would do this. Because uh, Pyro Guard can just earth shake this. And these turrets here are super fragile, so all you need is like one earth shake and all of this is gone. Soulstorm here, there was like three uh, squads here. The squads uh, survived, but uh, they're in the red now. So I sent in the witches. Witches are super expensive, so I'm trying to use them wisely. I don't know what this was. I thought this was a listening post or something. 
So I just attacked it. Bit of a fail on my part. I didn't send my whole army out. I got my commanders in the back. Fast forward again. I decided to get uh, anti-vehicle on my turrets in case of a uh, land speeder shenanigans. And here's some webway shenanigans. This up here uh, about attacking. This is from the other team. Here I put an HQ just so the Earthshaker would uh, hit this instead of my army. Putting a building here kind of defeats uh, Basilis. I did get the Spinneroony upgrade. So here's the Spinneroony upgrade. And I do have the uh, detection uh, of, uh, ability going, so I detected those scouts. It looks like I killed maybe three scouts or so, which wasn't that great. But I think the scouts were upgraded, so I killed three upgraded scouts. And yeah, I, I upgraded this to anti-vehicle for uh, land speeder shenanigan. I did take out uh, this turret here. It was a turret right there. Big, uh, see this one's a lot more interesting. And you, you see how quickly these uh, land speeders go down, which is ridiculous. There's not even that, uh, what's it called, a D platform? Or the D cannon? There's not even a D cannon here. And the, the vehicle went down instantly. Sorry, I'm activating. Uh, I'm activating all my stuff. Forces them to uh, slow down. So now the guards in the like super weak right now. Nice uh, orbital. This still looks good. Uh, I know I had the mod version, and the mod looks the mod version looks crazy good. Oh, there's an the engagement here. Again, using these buildings as a shield, uh, which is pretty much my only, my only option against uh, guard. So yeah, here I am using. I took out two sentinels. Looks like Eldar got wiped. I don't think he jumped. Uh, jumped back. I think this was a full wipe. Bunch of souls here. That's a, that's a crazy, crazy amount of souls. Yeah, basically the only way we could have won this was using uh, our movement abilities. See, the this building soaking up damage let me break this uh, opening. I was surprised this wasn't capped. I couldn't tell you why this wasn't capped. Here, I activate my laser. I'm surprised that worked. I'm surprised I took out that squad of the laser. I got a donation, was which was cool. Yeah, I'm surprised uh, that laser killed anything. I don't think my DS is upgraded, so it goes, it goes down pretty quick. Space Marine has a uh, slag depot. And he only has two vehicles. I expected a lot more from uh, Space Marine. He's got the my vehicle stunned. Looks like Eldar recovered, but Eldar does have like 50 buildings. He has like 50 uh, factories, so that's probably why he recovered so quick. Terminator's jumping. Pretty cool fight. 
Dark Reapers. Looks like they're chasing. I'm not sure what the Terminators are chasing. Oh, Brightlands platforms. There we go. Terminators getting hit by the bright form uh, platforms. Archon was uh, chasing guard around. The guard, my Archon died. And Emunculus, I just straight up lost track of him. Or I was gonna use my poison dart ability. That slowdown ability would have helped out the slowdown, the torture amp. The torture amp would have helped out the Terminators. So this was another. Uh, this was another fail. Oh, this predator is upgraded. So I guess. Uh, I guess space Marines level four. We are witches. Ravengers. Uh, I'm not sure if the Ravengers are upgraded. I think I have the first upgrade. I think I'm getting the second upgrade pretty soon. These Ravengers are nice. They actually do pretty well against guard. Double grenade these guards. Trying to ignore the Terminators. Nice uh, setup here. Bane Blade coming. Mandrakes on the Terminators. Took out the LP3, which is nice. Mine is the right to okay. Pretty nice fight. Uh, fast forward a bit. Oh, there's another fight. My bad. My bad. Um... And yeah, it seems like my family, I can hear them getting ready to go. So I think after this one I'll end it. I won't, I'll do the third one later. Seer Council versus uh, Terminators. I think the Terminators win that fight, but I'm not sure. I know Seer Council is anti like bullet resistant, but I don't think they have uh, anything against Terminators. Is the Farseer in there? No, I don't see the Farseer in there. I did uh, acid this building. You'll see an acid here in a second. And here I am building up, uh, I'm kind of doing a factory city thing too. So we both had the same idea. Pretty soon you'll see me acid this. There it is. I knew this guy here was pretty smart, so I knew he was I knew he would see it. And you see this building go down pretty quick. Yeah, I knew this guy was pretty smart, so I knew he'd, he'd see the acid. Here I'm just uh, scouting the map with my vehicles. Guard has been making vehicles uh, non-stop, and that's without the slag. I figured uh, Space Marine would be making dreadnoughts non-stop, but I haven't seen any. Nice turrets. I like these turrets a lot. Those are nice. I like this uh, friendship thing we got going on. Another slow storm. I was surprised it was uh, back so fast. So it looks like it has uh, like a three minute uh, recharge on it. There goes the sergeant. Big lightning ability. I forget the name of it. Yeah, and honestly, even if I didn't get my main faction, I probably would have played like this with a different faction. Maybe I would have made Assault Marine jump around the map. Assault Marines are fun. Here I am scouting the map again. Now, Scourges, I know they can outrange this. Uh, 
so I, I, I knew about that. Here I'm using the DS as like a shield, and I wasn't microing it at all. I could uh, use that one ability to do the laser twice, but oh well. Yeah, I'm pretty rusty, and after this game, my hand, uh, my hand started to hurt, which is weird. Cause I can usually play all day without my hand hurting, but now I can only play like two or three games. I can only play like two, two or three games, and then my hand hurts. So, I guess I am getting older. I might play some unification today, but it depends on the family. Yeah, this is a nice, uh, this is a nice view. I noticed, uh, oh. What? Yeah, I'm about to, I'm almost done. Speaking of, uh, Dark Eldar, uh, I guess the White Scars are fighting, uh, Kamara. I think. I'm not sure if that was 30k or 40k. But, uh. If Dark Eldar makes a comeback. If Dark Eldar makes a comeback, they should be fighting, uh, Space Marines, which would be fun. And Dark Eldar loves fights, so I don't think they mind. Oh, and I think Dark Eldar was fighting Salamanders too, right? So it should be Salamanders and White Scars against Dark Eldar, which would be cool. I like to see that. Looks like this isn't uh, Garrison. Yeah, it wasn't Garrison. And this tank here actually survives for like a good minute, which I was surprised by. This tank survives a whole like minute of shooting. This is like full power Eldar, and it survives for a good minute. In the board game, they actually buffed uh, Lehman Russes. So, if th this was the board game, that Lehman Russ would be like twice as strong. Nice. Also, something I, fo I found out about the, about the board game is. Uh, something I found out about the board game is uh, the Dark Eldar Raider actually like one shots vehicles and in the game uh, the raider sucks so they nerfed the raider if that makes sense bunch of mines here I guess the elder player just went crazy yeah I think the space ring player gives up here in a second and we got a, a, a GG from the we got a GG from the guard player, uh, and I was very surprised by this turnout because uh, uh, full power, full power space marine and full power guard just wipes the floor with Eldar, and so I was really surprised by this turnout. Really, full power space marines and full power uh, guard should absolutely wipe the floor of us, but uh. Yeah, and you, you don't see this map too oft often, so it was pretty fun. Um, and yeah, I think that's going to do it for this one. I do want to see what he was making. Fire prisms. Okay, he's making fire prisms. So I had 235, uh, 133, and he had what? Oh, about the same. That's weird because he has more uh, LP3s than me. Yeah, these are all LP3s and we have the same economy. That doesn't make much sense, but... Oh well. Uh, that's going to do it for this one. Um, hopefully you uh, enjoyed it. Uh, some Eldar action. Uh, yeah. Hopefully you liked that one. Uh, I did have a third one. Uh, it was sisters against uh, Necrons. It was a team fight. Uh, so that's the next one I'm going to record. 
Uh, so, if you guys like, if you guys like, uh, Necrons and Sisters, big fight there. Uh, and yeah, that's gonna do it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, bye.